Anyway, uh, I'm a big fan of Neil Gaiman, as you may have guessed, since he wrote my introduction, and this is uh, based on something that he wrote on his blog, and uh, the, the poem is called Spring Has Slipped Behind a Chair Forgotten, and the epigraph at the beginning is, um, Spring seems to have been omitted this year, and will probably finally turn up in jo July, where, where it will turn out to have been put under some newspapers, or to have slipped behind a chair and been forgotten about. So was Neil Gaiman on his blog a few years ago, and I thought that was a perfect description how we no longer seem to get spring. It's, you know, it's uh, winter and then suddenly construction, as they <laughs> joke in Toronto. So, spring has slipped behind a chair forgotten, as glass slippers years after the ball might be, cracked and cobwebby and left in the corner, or the unused spinning wheel, the peekaboo coffin, the long decayed donkey skin. Spring lies rumpled beneath a newspaper or in an unused room, squeezed out as midwinter tales rush headlong into golden-haired summer, feverish with the business of living, of happy ever after, and marriages to princes and huntsmen and transformed beasts. How easy to slip off spring, that unfashionable frock, draped and left to fall behind a chair. How simple to overlook that gustery wind with its kites and kestrels, the shy peeping of tulips, and the newfound promise of open windows. Being taken to mad tea parties, flung into the sky at the end of a kite tail, gone up fairy hills and maypoles, down bursting spell-breaking rivers onto the backs of butterflies and constellations, to the underworld and out again, digging Hades' astonished girlfriend into the open air, amid a gust of hawthorn blossoms, chattering lilies and Easter hats, sprung fresh from the ground. Let fall the fervid, heavy robes of summer, those days fat with ever-afters and ever over-sweet honeysuckle. They come too soon. Turn back the sundial, rebud the branches, and let us dust off spring. Pick it up from behind the chair and shake it out. Linger in its cool folds, its clean embrace, and let all other seasons await their blessed turn. <laughs>